Got him. It's a fish. Dude, are you kidding me? It's a freaking smallmouth. How is it going guys? Bass Bill 96 here and today's video is going to be day number two of practice of the first ever college major league fishing tournament on the Mississippi River. If you haven't watched day one yet that's going to be linked down below but Nick Van Dam and I started to piece together this little main river pattern and day two we expand upon that even further. But without further ado let's get right into the fishing. We pulled up to the first spot on day number two. It was Main River Rock. There was a few laydowns and it had a really nice current break. We started throwing the square bell looking for our first fish of day number two. I got one. I got a good one. I got him. Yeah, that's got to be a good bass. Come on. Yep. There he is, dude. Large mouth. Yep. First keeper largemouth. First keeper largemouth, a little one pounder. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. First thing in the morning, getting somewhere. Doing much better than yesterday. Only took about five minutes to catch a keeper today. <laughs> Decent. Decent. You got one. You got one? Good one? Oh yeah, there you go. Large Largey, I think, yeah. Smally, it's a smally. It's a smally. That's probably a keeper though. Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. That's about a pound. <laughs> so we caught quite a few fish on the main river running with that pattern, pretty much just hitting every single little point that we could find. Eventually we decided to try a little shoot off of the main river and see if there was any bass back in there. We got a lot of bites, but we didn't really catch very many bass. Pike, 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 pike. <laughs> yeah, there's some solid little chunks in this river, I guess. In the lake. Oh, I got one. Good one. That's probably not a pike, I'm guessing. Feels pretty large. What are you, buddy? Drum. <laughs> Okay. Alright, we're catching everything. Dude. After catching a few pike and a few drum, we decided to go back to the main river because it just didn't seem like the bass were back in those non-main river channels. I decided to tie in a whopper plopper because our other boat was catching a ton of fish on it. They told us to try it out and I rigged that up and went to work trying to find some of those main river smallmouth. Got one on the whopper plopper right now. A little smally. Oh, he's running by that trolling motor. Little, little smally on the plopper. So I caught a few fish on the whopper plopper. I also missed a few fish on it too. And I decided to crimp the hooks down to make sure I didn't stick too many fish before the tournament. Uh, didn't really get very many blow ups after that then though. The sun was high in the sky and we had to change the game plan up once again. We felt pretty dialed in with that main river rock pattern. So we decided to run some more of those backwater areas and try to find something a little bit different. We kept running that backwater pattern and we caught quite a few more good fish on both a chatterbait and flipping a black and blue oh, jig. Is that a frog or a fish? Got him. It's a fish. Dude, are you kidding me? It's a freaking smallmouth. <laughs> are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? No, not like that. You ever catch a fish like that? No. <laughs> that was the goofiest thing. I didn't even try to like set the hook on him either. That's the thing. So that's one of the goofiest catches I've ever had in my entire life. Honestly, don't even know what just happened, dude. Go. Wait, wait, wait. We're trying to find this stack. <gasps> Got one on the chatterbait. A good one. Is it a pike or a bass? Pike. pike. Holy smokes. She crushed it. She crushed it. Many, 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 many pike. All right, buddy. See you later. Actually, hopefully don't see you later. Makes bass want to eat your lure more and makes pike, pike want to swim to another lake far, far away. Whoa. There we go. He's a pounder. That's a pounder all day. And the little shoots on the old jig. Strike King jig, dude. 
This is a Dunny Brower. This is my favorite jig of all time. Yeah, it is. I just picked up Nick's rod and flipped the jig up into a tree, and look at that. Straight braid. Straight braid, jigging a tree. I'm having lots of fun now, dude. <laughs> this is what I've been wanting to do the whole time, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need another rage crawl. I'm going to try to flip on him quick. Got him. It's another pounder. We need to get out of here, I think. That's a good one, right? We don't need to get any, dude. We don't need to get any more bites. We just they're in here. This this looks juicy. We don't need to get any more bites. There, that's a nice, just about two pounder right there, boys and girls. We've caught some decent ones today. We've caught a lot more bass today, and everything's coming together. Feel a lot more normal. Having a lot more fun. Yeah, a lot more confidence. Everything's working out good for us today. But that was literally two flips in a row with a. The old Denny Brower right there, two bass. So, yep, like that. <laughs> so we started heading back in because we had to make it to the meeting on time, but as we were leaving our last spot of the day, this boat kind of waves us over and they tell us how their motor blew up and they need to tow back to the launch. I've blown my fair share of motors, had a ton of different motor problems, ton of boat problems, and there's no way I was gonna leave these guys out there stranded. So Nick and I towed them back to the launch. We made it just in time and we got to the meeting. The Major League Fishing staff was all set up in front of this Cabela's and they pretty much just went over the rules and regulations for the tournament along with how we're going to be weighing our fish and how we're going to track them live throughout the tournament too because this is a catch and release event where we're not bringing in our best five fish, we're weighing every single individual fish on a scale, tracking it in our phone immediately and then letting it back go in the water so no fish is going inside of our live well and that's not a tournament that pretty much any of these guys have ever fished. They went over that whole deal, really really cool idea, really really cool concept and I'm super super stoked to fish the tournament so thank you guys for watching today's video this was practice day number two we have one more practice video and it gets freaking wild uh one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me on the water so if you guys don't want to miss that one make sure you hit that subscribe button other than that i will catch you guys in the next one